Online competitive gaming has been around for decades. From FPS's like Halo, RTS's like StarCraft 2, and the toxic waste pits that is League of Legends, gamers have battled at top leaderboards, win prize money, and claim prestigious national and world titles. But what if one individual wanted to achieve something less? What if someone was satisfied on being just barely in the top 49%? What does it take to achieve to just be passable and not receive death threats from your teammates? I'm not sure, but let's find out what it takes to be mediocre on the road to gold. Age of Empires is a series of RTSs known as real-time strategy games where you utilize a unique historical civilization with their own set of unique units, technologies, and set of advantages and disadvantages to defeat your enemy. The latest entry, Age of Empires 4, has online ranked multiplayer where one can test their skills against real players and then be judged by an algorithm for it. Kind of like job hunting. But what does it take to achieve gold in this mode? I don't know. I've never played it. But we're gonna find out. But first, we must pick a civilization to play as. Maybe I'll play as a civilization with close familial ties to myself, like the Holy Roman Empire. They're basically close enough to German, right? Or maybe we'll pick a civilization with rich history and, and culture and high production animation capabilities, like the Japanese. Or maybe we'll pick something even deeper, something that matters more to me than anything else. Being at the top of the tier list, we're trying to get gold. Of course, I'm going to pick the Ottomans here. Cry about it. As the saying goes, the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Or as in this case, a leap. Let's just run a, a, a normal multiplayer match and let's see, uh, or maybe we just hop into ranked. Let's, let's just hop into it. Let's, let's hop into our first ranked game. And if this has any water, I'm so screwed because I haven't touched any of the naval units yet. And that's going to be real tough. But you know, we'll learn. We'll also lose. But we'll learn. Yeah, dude, do you see that shit? You see, I don't, I don't know what that means. As any blind man could see, this was a gold-ranked player. My first match was going to be against what I aspired to be. Suffice to say, I was nervous. Maybe even a little scared. But despite all that... There was only one thing we could do. Fuck around and find out. We'll go we'll go pink, so I can always know where I am. Which will be at the bottom of the leaderboard. He's like, wow, you're the Ottomans? I hope I get made fun of. I hope he bullies me into my villain arc and I become good at this game. And just like that, our first real match started, and it was time to get the ball rolling on our economy so we could work towards our initial strategy. A feudal age siege rush. The goal was to research siege engineering and have our infantry units produce battering rams to destroy enemy infrastructure. With this strategy, we could get a swift and decisive victory before our enemy is able to build up too much resistance. At the very least, it could set back the enemy both economically and militarily. He didn't even say good luck, have fun. He knows I'm bad. He knows I, I <laughs> no amount of luck is going to help me uh, and that I'm not going to have fun. At least we got two sheep. Can we get three sheep? Three sheep, yeah, we got three sheep. Dude, I'm unstoppable if I got three sheep. Oh. Oh. He got one sheep, but what if he got two scout? Two scout, one sheep. Mmm. I don't like that, dude. I don't like two scout, one sheep. I do not fuck with two scout, one sheep. Alright, alright, everyone. Then let's hit the, the market. Alright, maybe we can uh, get some cavalry going. I think what we do, maybe we get one one or two cavalry. And we start to be a pain in the ass. Yeah, maybe we, uh, my brother in Christ. It's a scout, dude. <laughs> okay, Jesus. That was a little bit of a uh, overkill. Maybe he thinks we'll attack from there. Oh, now we'll razzle dazzle him and we'll put our cavalry over there. He'll never know. He will never see it coming. He has totally seen it coming. All right, let's do something mean, and let's just get let's just get a battering ram going. Let's let's see how he faces our first ram. And so we began our first attack against the enemy. I sent my two battering rams forward while the enemy pikemen attempted to attack them. I countered with my own pikemen. Seeing a squadron of archers in the back providing cover fire, I sent my horsemen to hunt them down. This distracted his soldiers from my rams, now attacking the enemy's town center landmark. Little did I know that my opponent would use his villagers to attack my rams, an effective strategy due to the villagers' use of torches, a very effective counter to my rams. 
After looking away from the battle for just a few moments, I came back to find my rams destroyed and our attack thwarted. So villagers are good defense against rams. Who would have thought? Well, I think we made a, a severe uh, mistake. But he do be have a lot of archers. Providing some uh, cavalry uh, harassment might be a decent play. Was he castling? Oh, no. I don't think that's worth it. Let's get the schools going. Get the kids educated. As it turns out, this game is probably a little bit of a... Is a, is a little bit different than uh, playing against the computer. Who would have thought? Yeah, I think my economics are uh, a little lacking, considering I just got uh, improved gather rates. Interesting. Oh, well that's... That's a little fucking tough. Um, it was fun. It was fun while it lasted. The joke's on you. Holy shit, they are fast. Jesus, fuck. I think I have an idea. Or at least I pretend to have one. I've been given time, which is, uh, very, very fortunate. Uh, I don't think it's gonna matter too much, but we'll find out. Um, yeah, I don't even have fucking wheelbarrow. Oh my god. I think I played myself with the early rush. I think I realized that I don't know how people actually defend at this game, and I'm gonna suffer the consequences for it. Also, let's just build all the houses we need, or at least most of the houses we need. Please, I just, I, I just, if I can't win, I at least want to save the homeless population. It's the least I can do. I can't wait to see the whole army just over here. That's gonna be wonderful. That's gonna be so cool. Oh, I have so many archers. I did not realize how many archers I had. Wait a second. Wait a second. Maybe we're in this. Maybe there's a chance. After some time had passed, over the horizon, I spotted my enemy constructing a keep. This was a major issue for several reasons, but mostly because the English get an attack speed bonus when they're building such as keeps. I sent my horsemen over to attack the villagers constructing it, but soon realized his army was lurking behind it. I switched to trying to attack it with my own siege units. This started a dance between our units, trying to counter each other while throwing large rocks at each other. Neither of us was making up any ground, but the fact that he held his own meant he was the winner of the battle. The enemy had established a base of forward operations that would put pressure on my home base. After a little dance, the enemy continued to slowly lay siege to my town via trebuchet. I tried to continue to lay siege to his castle, however his longbowmen stopped me, a unit unique to the English that kept giving me issues. Using their longer range, they were able to attack me from outside my range, while still being in the shadow of their own keep, meaning they fired even faster. Eventually, I just tried going all in. Unfortunately, most of the footage from this battle is frozen, however, as you could guess, I didn't come out on top. With the core of my forces gone, and artillery pummeling my town, there was nothing left to do. So to end the pain quickly, I surrendered. Defeat. My first ranked game was a complete failure. To be honest, it never felt close, and it feels as if we went on a whimper. Mistakes were made, and there were definitely some choices I wish I could take back. That all being said, we learned a lot, and experience is the greatest teacher. They say that the first step is often the hardest, but with that first step, we were well on our way towards mediocrity. One day, we would get there. Surely we would, but only time would tell. But that's all for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.